Manuel Álvarez Bravo produced this startling photograph of a murdered Union leader in 1934, in the aftermath of the Mexican Revolution, when widespread violence plagued the country. Made close up and low to the ground, the picture resembles a crime scene photograph. Although this direct, almost journalist style is uncharacteristic in Álvarez Bravo's images, the subject points to the broader, unifying theme in his work. Mexico and its people. His student, Pablo Ortiz Monasterio, discusses this aspect of his images. He's very interested in the main themes of this country that was being built up in, after the revolution. So nationality was very important. So he was commenting and he was talking about who the Mexicans are, where do we come from, but in a, in a way that he just, you know, like the haikus of the Japanese poetry, to say a lot with very little, with very simple elements. So he finds deep, intense symbols in everyday life elements. Everyday life and the seemingly mundane activities of the Mexican people take on new meanings in Álvarez Bravo's work. In this image, two people are about to pass each other on a deserted city street. In speaking about this photograph, Álvarez Bravo said that the woman who carries a package of food is making an offering, while the man runs away, propelled along by his lengthy stride. Though their paths will cross, their lives may never connect. This fleeting encounter shows the ambivalence of modern urban life. Álvarez Bravo's daughter Aurelia discusses her father's vision and intuition. He, he knows what, what he wants. He, he, he sees something and this is the thing he wants in this, in, at the moment. That's all. He, he, he really has a, a, a special eye, a very sharp eye and very... He, he, he can, as, as you say, when you are reading a book, you, you are reading between the lines. He, he sees um, behind things or between, between lines when, he, he, when he's reading things. Leaning against a balcony railing, a young girl rests her head in the palm of her left hand. Álvarez Bravo caught her in a wistful state, perhaps longing for another time or place, perhaps yearning for the future. It is a poetic moment, suspended between the dream world and consciousness. I think my, my father is like... A he, he's, he's an eye, he's a thinking eye, a feeling eye, um, and like a describing eye and a talking eye, many th things uh, at, at the same time. I don't see very well what, what is surrounding me, and many times when I go to the street with, uh, with my father, it happens that, that he says, look, look at these. The, the lines, the shapes, and what I am looking is something so normal, you see, every day. And suddenly I, I discover, really, it's something very, very special. And um, you can see it in, di in different ways. It can be such a, a, a normal thing. Álvarez Bravo illustrated the emotional economic and physical struggle that people endure throughout the world. The concern with universal human themes is fundamental to his vision. Those who have studied with Álvarez Bravo describe his principles. Take the time you need to make the perfect image. Devote yourself to the work. Think through the eyes. Hay tiempo. Hay tiempo. There's time. There's time.